If you're facing FPS drop on Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 4, here is a video with some simple steps in order to fix this problem. Now the first and foremost thing which is very very important and necessary when it comes to Fortnite or any kind of game if you're having any kind of FPS issues, make sure that you update your graphics drivers to the latest version. Now it doesn't matter if you're an AMD or an Nvidia user, make sure to check their website. So if there is a driver that is a new one which you have not installed on your PC, make sure to do it as soon as possible. So once you update your graphics driver, I'm pretty sure 30 to 50% of your problem will be completely solved. Your FPS, we will get a bit more FPS than what you're getting right now. The next thing what you need to do is just go to your Windows PC and in the search bar, just simply type over there game mode settings. Now over here, make sure that game mode is on. So when game mode is on, Windows optimize the PC for play. So it will not give you like a very huge number of FPS, though it will improve a little bit of your PC in order to play one particular game, in our case it's Fortnite, so make sure you choose game mode as on. After doing this, one additional thing you can do over here is, you can see this called as related settings which is a graphic settings over here, click on this and as you can see I've already added Fortnite win64shipping.exe in high performance mode. How to add this? Very simple, simply click on browse over here and you will redirect it to any of the directory, you just have to find your Fortnite directory. Go to Fortnite game, binaries, win64 and you will find the application file which is this one. How will you know which application file you need to choose? Pretty simple, just see which size is the highest. So you have to just choose this application file, simply click on add. I've already done it so I will not do it again. If you have added, simply go to options. It will be chosen as system default, make sure to choose as high performance and simply click on save. The next step which you need to do is right click here at the bottom and go to the task manager. Now in the task manager you have to go to something called as a startup menu and over here you will see all the applications files which are open on a startup and I have, as you can see most of them and majority of them I have disabled and if you don't need any of these applications which are not important for example I don't need Spotify at the startup, I don't need Steam at the startup so I have disabled both of them. So you can also disable whichever applications you don't need at the very starting when your windows boot. So make sure you do this and then close this. Next thing what you need to do is go to your search bar and simply type over there background apps. Now once the background app opens as you can see I have closed all the background apps. I am not running any kind of background apps in the background. So what you need to do is you can also turn off all of them but if any individual ones you need for example if you use this let's say this killer control center so you can just simply click on this on over here and then you can go and manually turn on this or off this. But for me I don't need any of them so I like to turn every background app as off. So make sure you do this. The next thing what you need to do is you have to go your this PC and over here simply go and right click and go to properties go to advanced system settings which is over here and then you will find a tab called as advanced option. Simply click on the performance tab over here which is called as settings, click on here and as you can see I have chosen custom over here, I have just only choose show thumbnails instead of icons, smooth edge of screen fonts. But by default if you have never encountered this or never seen this before it will be choose for adjust for best performance or it will be chosen for less windows change what's best for my computer. You need to choose custom, you can copy these two settings or you have to choose adjust for best performance. So if you choose adjust for best performance, the visual context of your PC will not look that good but it will give you the best out of the PC. So I have just for visually I have just chosen these two things, show thumbnails instead of icons and smooth edge of screen fonts. So you can do any of them, it's completely up to you, adjust for best performance or custom, copy these two settings click on apply, click on ok and you can close this. The next thing what you need to do is you have to go to a search bar over here and type in run. Now once you type run you have to just simply choose or type percentage app data percentage, click ok. After that you have to go to app data, go to local and then find something called as Fortnite game. Double click on this, go to saved, config, windows client, game user settings. Now this is a configuration file whatever you put over here it's visually or directly influence the Fortnite game. So simply right click go to properties and then over here you need to make sure that read only is not ticked. So simply untick this click on apply click on ok. After that simply go and you will find this particular file which is the game user settings you can double click and open this. First and foremost the very first thing which you need to do is you will find something called as B show grass which is over here. By default it will be true, make sure this is false. Once you put this false, you will see a lot of improvement in the FPS 
part of the fortnite so make sure you make this false which is the b show grass after you have done this you just need to scroll down to the very bottom and you will find something called as scalability groups now here as you can see i have chosen for the resolution quality it is for 95 to 99 so you can choose any value between them i prefer 97 mostly by default it will be 100 but it doesn't make much of a difference visually when you choose between 100 and 97 though it will give a lot more difference in the fps so make sure this is 97 view distance quality is one and the texture quality is one rest everything is zero over here so make sure you copy my settings which is the scalability groups all the settings you can do though you can change this 97 to anything as you like i would prefer that you put it anything between 95 to 99 though you should not go below 90 you can choose any values from that particular range of numbers though you can check what's best for you you can choose any values which you required if you put less than 95 it may give a little bit like a blurry kind of effect so don't go beyond like below 95 or like below 90 though if you don't care much about the visuals and need more fps you can you can go below 90 maybe like 92 91 or 90 as well but i would not suggest you to go below 90 at all because that it will be looking like very much bad the visuals also will be bad though you may get fps but it will not be a very huge number as compared to what you're visually looking at so make sure you choose whichever value is best for you i would suggest to put anything between 95 and 99 after that you just scroll down over here and you will find something called as d3 drhi preference the first option is b use d3 d12 in game which can be true or false make sure that this is false and the b preferred d3 d12 in game is also false so what i'm telling fortnite that you are forced to not choose DirectX 12 even though it's a beta version we're gonna play the game in DirectX 11. The next thing what you need to do is you will see that R ray tracing in enabled in game which should be false as well inside. So make sure all these options you do go to file after that and simply click on the save option. After this so simply close this file and you're good to go. So those were some simple settings which you can do in order to fix this problem of FPS drop. Just comment down below if this video helped you and if you're still having problems with FPS do comment down below with the configuration you're playing Fortnite in. I will try to help you out immediately. And if you're new to my channel consider subscribing hitting the bell icon with all notifications on. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.